Stormy Daniels is gonna tell her story. Stormy Daniels is the porn star who allegedly had intercourse with Donald Trump. And according to the story, she was paid $130,000 to keep quiet. Well, accompanying that apparently was this non-disclosure agreement, which meant that neither side was able to talk about it in public. Enter uh, Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's lawyer, who recently agree, uh, disclosed that he actually did pay her that money. And according to her uh, representation, she says everything is off now and Stormy is going to tell her story. Thoughts, five words or less. Let's go. Allegedly, she didn't finish. Make it rain, Stormy. <laughs> Fuck, Brett, that was great. Thank I you. That was very good. Ah, uh, finally, I got one right. So, uh, do you want to hear this? I, oh, yes. I like instead of like Joe sent me a statement or a press conference telling me that you're then that it's going to come. Mm -hmm. I want to hear what you have to say. If it's so juicy, I want to hear it. So let's go. Yes. My body is hard. ready. <laughs> <laughs> Your body is a wonderland, Brooke. Uh, I want this to be like Corinne Stefan, Superhead, uh, her tell all. But I bought all three of those. Yeah, books. but they're just they like were life changing. Like just get the tea, get the vat of tea, and just splash it all over. Yeah. All over. Uh, Oh God, I don't want to hear any stories about Trump and like vats and splashing. But the thing is about Stormy that I have to give her credit for is how she's handling all this. She's like showing up places looking very, she, she's very personable and just like, yes, we had sex. It was terrible. It was terrible. He, I, I, I don't remember if, if things were really happening, but I know something was happening. And she's not, and she's like, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. So why should I? Right. That why should I? Their, their claim is it violates the tenets of the right. NDA. And so it's all open. She referred to the sex as textbook generic because I actually don't even know why I did it. And she's she likes this attention. She yeah. and it, that's a bad person to like have a uh, if you want to keep something a secret. An enemy. It's a bad it's, person. It's to have an enemy. Right. So I want to see because he talks a lot. So yes. It's interesting yeah. to see. Um, I don't know if this is where we've this is where we've gotten. This is where we are. This is where right. we are. And we're not America. better than this. <laughs> is, we're not better than this. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Has no, any of. So uh, Bill Clinton had Lewinsky. Lewinsky and there was a cigar story and he stayed in office, but it wasn't, uh, but there was a giant impeachment thing that happened and he had, we saw the testimony and all that. We have had so much tape, mm -hmm. we have so many clips, we have daily tweets about this president. Why can he get away with it? Right. Why does it still not really yeah. make a difference? Why did Billy Bush lose his job and the president went on to go and be the leader of the free world? Does, uh, who knows? Does it make a difference? Do you think this is gonna come back and bite Trump? No, 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 nothing is. But I think, <laughs> regard, like, I think it's a good point, like when you bring up yeah. uh, former President Clinton, as you were fascinated by the details of that story. Mm -hmm. Everyone can recite that story and weird details about the dress and the mm. stain and the this and the that mm -hmm. and the, the phone call and who leaked the story and this yeah. and that because it was fascinating. Presidential scandals are fascinating right. to yeah. the people who are you know beneath the president or being- So to speak. Right, and so hmm. uh, it's another presidential scandal and so it's like, I think because it's about sex and because it involves a porn star, it makes it seem like- More salacious than this. Right, but it's a presidential scandal and we are fascinated by all presidential scandals as much as you don't want them to happen. But you it's say- It's kind of the same thing. It is it's the same thing. It's something that people are gonna be fascinated by. So of course you wanna hear the details. But- no, Well, not the details, but do you know what no, I mean? I, do I want, I want the, the details. details. What I wanna get to is how freaking gross I am. I wanna be like, what does he do? Like, does he have a move? I, does he have like a, a movie? A lot of like, people oh, share that. He Brooke, played, he what made, music did he play during? Probably, he, they, they made love to always beat my baby from Mariah. You have a good point <laughs> though that we are fascinated. Yeah. But the reason why I think Clinton was uh, back then so like <gasps> was because it ha it was one of the first that was really to be um, like of, of this generation, yes? Yes, it was the first post Watergate right. affair scandal to mm -hmm. my knowledge. And then you had all these elements, you had uh, Jen Jennifer Flowers and all these different things that made it Interesting, but now fast forward, what, 20, 26, 24 years later or whatever, mm -hmm. that is like old hat. It's like, oh, another president. And also Clinton was a nice guy. We liked the Clintons. Clinton was was on Arsenio Hall playing the saxophone. Right. He was amazing, he was, he was cool. Trump is not, so for us, it's like we're not shocked, we're not surprised. I think if George W. Bush had this kind of scandal, it would have made waves. I know that if Obama had any scandal, it would have oh, been the end of God. the world. Yeah, it's yeah. just so crappy. Crucified. It, is it? That he we, is like the 
absolutely, there aren't even scandalous rumors about right. him. Because exactly. that's a fascinating, about like all the other, when, when you think about, we were saying Clinton, it's the first, but there were tons of rumors from when he was governor. Mm -hmm. There were there are tons of rumors, like think about all the like most famous presidents. There are tons yeah. of like affair rumors and this and that. The Clinton scandal, what was fascinating about this is that a friend of hers leaked the story. Right. It, it was that we like secrets being leaked. Right. That's really what it's about. It wasn't even, when it's a rumor, it's a rumor, but when someone that with has details, a, right. like I'm going to talk out loud, I'm gonna say this yes. out loud, that is what made it different. It's like Faye Resnick okay. and Nicole Brown Simpson. When you get when that people that have firsthand account of yeah, knowledge, willing it's, to say yeah, it out loud, absolutely. It's like of course you're gonna you're gonna lend an ear. You oh know? my god, I love the best part. I mean, I, we only have this little bit from this one interview, but in, in touch before this all went down. I, she said, "I do remember while we were having sex, I was like, please don't try to pay me." Just that like sad, hello darkness, my old friend moment. Yeah. As she's like, I, I had sex with Donald Trump because it's Donald Trump and it was an option. No. And I have sex all the time and I don't really care about it, but oh my God, what am I doing? But the things people are talking about are, is this a, like an illegal campaign contribution? The fact that it came from the lawyer's own money, according yeah. to the lawyer, no, there's no way. Why would you pay that much money if it wasn't for something really, really bad?